Good evening. Good evening, Laura. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. In the mood. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Nice to see you. And you? I'm and you a little bit it? sick. I'm pretty much <laughs> sick. I got the flu. And oh, yeah, I hate it. It's so awful. <laughs> but thank God, at least we are alive. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Ni modo. Ay, sí. De verdad que sí. Okay. Todo el día he estado en las clases. Mm. Ah. Por favor, me repiten bastantes veces las cosas porque no escucho bien. <risa> Siempre les digo eso en la clase. Ay, no. Sí, ya no, ya no está tranquilo uno. Good evening. Uh, Good evening, Ileana. How are you? I'm fine. I'm very happy. Excellent. Very good. Why are you so happy? Uh, I feel uh, good. Uh, tranquila. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Embracing. Yes. Excellent. Very good, Ileana. All right, everyone. We're going to wait a couple of minutes, maybe like three minutes, and we're going to start the class, right? Okay. Because we are missing a couple of classmates. I don't know if you already noticed, but Patricia is not connect. She's not connected. I don't know what's happening. She's always first. Let's hope she's not sick. Hello, Hello. How are you? Eh, uh, I little tired. But it's Monday. <laughs> sí, yes. Pero I. <laughs> so let's see. Es que uh -huh. no, no hay descanso 
Trabajo sábado, domingo, lunes. The same here, my friend. The same thing here. I work from Monday to Sunday. All right, excellent. Now, welcome everyone. Um, it's a pleasure to see you. Uh, my three students that I have right now. Let's see the other ones. And let's see, let's check. Laura, how was your day? Was it busy, cool, sad? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yes, I love it. Excellent. Very love good. Myself. You look happy. <laughs> what about you, Ileana? How was your day? It's No stressful. <laughs> ah, for today wasn't no. stressful. Excellent. No. Really good. Uh, I don't know if you have noticed, but most of Mondays, Laura, don't drink soda. <laughs> don't drink Coke. <laughs> Del vicio, por favor, Laura. Del vicio. Ah, exactly. She's addictive. <laughs> no puedo. No puedo. I can't do it. Mira, Laura, ¿y sabe qué es lo que, lo que me bien. llama la atención? Normally, people mm -hmm. take or drink like this way of soda, but you're drinking the whole cup. <laughs> All right, Lara. Es poquito, mis. <laughs> Con mucho hielo, nada más. All right, girls. Welcome. Let me share with you my PPT. We have fun a little bit. And now it's time to get into the business, right? Now let me check because I'm seeing that. I have seen something that somebody's texting. I have noticed that there's a lot of, uh, there are quite a lot of students in the group, of WhatsApp group. But when they are, when we are talking about the virtual class, I only have like usually 10 or 12, no more than that. And then I see that, and I see that some people is texting on the WhatsApp group and I'm like, who are you? <laughs> Por qué no se han presentado a la clase? <laughs> All right, girls, we have Monday, September 07th. 2021, 06, sorry. <laughs> How much is it? All right, we're still in that part. Don't worry, today we're going to move on. And we are in class number nine. Now, let me check in here. Wait. Uh... So let's see, what do you remember from last class? Let's see, eh, una consulta, queridas estudiantes o alumnas, ustedes, les, a ustedes les aparece cada vez que entran a la clase, les aparece que está comenzando la grabación. Sí. Sí, all right. Y ahora les apareció. Yes, teacher. Y espero que sí se esté grabando la clase porque... Sí me apareció la señal, pero ya no veo la cosita que dice grabar. A mí sí me aparece. ¿Qué aparece? La que se está grabando. Si no, otro día más. Sí, yeah, es true. Ya le ha pasado eso, Jan, si no. Sí. Oh, Hasta wow. las 11 de la noche nos dejaron. Oh, my gosh. No, ya me dio miedo. No me digan eso. <risa> Let's see. Mention the demonstrative pronouns. Let's see if we remember demonstrative pronouns. Ileana? This, this, that, this, those. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Laura, which are the demonstrative pronouns that we use for singular choices? Singular choices. 
use these in that. Okay, just give me one sec. All right, excellent. Thank you. Uh, I beg you pardon. Con el audio. Ah, Laura. You are having issues or problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some problems with the internet connection. The, the audio, I think the audio is very lent. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Don't worry, Laura. It happens. Uh, most of the time, internet fails. Fails. So it's just a matter of time. You need to wait, calm down. Okay. Let's hope it gets stable, right? Let's see. Mention, Jancy, the demonstrative pronouns used when talking in plural. Uh, have more than one. We have like two or three. Uh, mm, no, understand. Uh, then, oh. Number three. Mention the demonstrative pronouns used when talking in plural. Uh, mm -hmm. One, one example. Uh, do you remember the demonstrative pronouns? For example, if I have two objects, what demonstrative pronoun can I use? Okay, uh, when, when, <laughs> uh, let's see if Iliana can help you. When this uh, pencil. Okay, this is for one. And if I have two? No, teacher. Liliana, help me. Uh, these uh, earrings. These uh, earrings. Those socks. There you have it, very good. That's when we are talking in plural. Don't forget everyone. Don't forget because this is pretty basic. You already learned this. So if we're talking in plural, I'm going to use this and those, right? Let's go. In which, hello, Patricia, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm sorry, I am late. Yeah, I noticed when I connected, I saw you all, and I Patricia and I, what's going on? What happened? But it's good to see you. Well, yeah. Okay, so let's see if I can have somebody else to help me in here. So I see we have a new, a new classmate, Jocelyn. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi. How are you? Uh, very good. Excellent. Good to see you, Jocelyn. My name is Fede. I'm, you, I'm the teacher for this course, All right? Okay. Good to Thank see you. you. Let me check. So we have number four, girls. In which part? of the sentences or questions do we use one or once? Let's see if we remember. Uh, hi, Eliana, thank you. Um, yeah, we uh, use one or once at the end of the question or answers, it replaces the noun. There you have it, that's the key, very good. Very good, yes. that's the key, right? You replace the noun, so it's easier for you. Okay, so we use is, when do we use is, Patricia? Sorry. Mm. Uh, mm. We use 
is for a singular things. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. singular now. Yeah. Excellent, very good, thank you. And let's see, Laura, I don't know if you can hear me, Laura. When do we use R? Yes. What we use R for? Yeah, we uh, we use R for a plural, for plural nouns or or pronouns. Mm -hmm. yeah, excellent, thank you. There you have it. And now let's see. This is pretty basic. We learned it last class. So mention at least three materials or vocabulary words that you learned last class, Jancy. I read, teacher. No, I'm asking you. I need yeah. to answer. Mention at least three materials or vocabulary words that you learned last class. No, teacher. No, I understand. I can see. Remember, for example, rubber. Cotton, what else? Gold. Gold, uh-huh. What, what other one? Silver, gold, glass. Por eso es que siempre les voy a pedir que copien el, el material que yo les doy aquí. Especialmente porque proviene de la plataforma y yo sé que cuando estamos practicando en la plataforma puede ser que no copiemos nada. Entonces... ¿Ya lo tienen ustedes aquí? Sí, lo copio, teacher, pero no entiendo cuando solo habla inglés. Es el, mi problema. Déjese llevar por los temas. Por ejemplo, ah. materials. ¿Recuerdan que yo les dije que eran materials con los que podíamos hacer ciertas cosas, cierta ropa o prenda de vestir? Ah. No, eh, Jancy, pero no lo decía por usted cuando yo les dije, porque yo, yo así era también. Si hacían cosas en la plataforma, no copiaba la teoría. Solo me iba straight to the exercises. No, yo sí quiero que tengan teoría un poquito para que tengan con qué defenderse. Pues no es solo porque vivieron de una manera. Exactamente. No, recuerden que en este idioma tan precioso tenemos muchas maneras de decir algo. Right? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Jancy. All right, girls. So let's see. I have these verbs for you. This is vocabulary for you, all right? So we have verbs of body movement, right? So let's see, we have bend, bend, like inclinarse, bend, lift, lift, carry, Carry. Okay, now listen, this is for you to have vocabulary. That's why I brought it in here. I want you to have vocabulary. So we have kneel, kneel, hold, hold, seat, seat, punch, punch, pick up, Pick up, lip, lip, jump, jump, drag, drag, and let me move the other one because I cannot see it. Dive, dive. Pull, pull, push, push, run, run, lean, lean, walk, that's basic, right? Walk, that's the action of walking, walk, throw, <clears throat> imagine you have a ball. 
throw, throw, tiptoe, tiptoe, hope, hope, and a squat, squat. All right. If you notice, these are actions. Okay. So if before you used to say jump for everything, si antes solíamos decir jump para todo tipo de brincos, now we know that we have leap, jump, hope, right? You don't have only one way to say it, you have more, right? So let's see. I want you to repeat this vocabulary. These are verbs. These ones are useful because you can use them whenever you want to and whenever you need them, right? So let's start with Patricia. Tell me all these verbs. Uh, excuse me, teacher, what did you see? Yes, can you please tell me all these verbs? For example, band. Ah, okay, okay, thanks, yeah, I got it. Band, girl. No, call, see, punch, pick up, leap, jump, run. Excellent. Thank uh, you. Continue with these ones. Dive. Dive. Push. Push. Run. Lean. Walk. Throw. Throw. Tiptoe. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you notice, everyone, my dear students, we have push and punch. They are not the same. Both of them start with B, U, but they are not the same, right? So keep an, keep an eye on that. Let's go with Ileana. Ileana, tell me the verbs. Bend, lift, carry, kneel, hold, sit, punch, pick up, leap, jump, draw, um, dive, pull, push, run, lean, walk, throw, tiptoe, hop, squat. Excellent, Ileana, thank you. Yeah. Now, listen everyone. Now, when we see a transparent door and you see the announcement that says, pull, ya no van a empujar, ya no van a empujar ustedes porque ahora saben que pull es jalar, ¿verdad? No les ha pasado que en las puertas de vidrio, it happens. <laughs> Vemos el tremendo pull ahí que dice pull y nos empujando. <laughs> All right, now we know that is full lar right excellent jan c please help me with the verbs bed life if carry uh, sneer hold sit punch pick up leap jump draw die pull Push, run, lean, wall, throw, or throw. 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 Tip toe up. Squat. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let's go with Adriana. Hi, Adriana. Hi, good evening, Miss. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, very good. Okay, Adriana, let's see, let's warm it up. Tell me these verbs. Uh, bend, mm -hmm. lift, carry, kneel, hold, sit, uh, punch, mm -hmm. pick up, lift, jump, Drop, 
Dive. Uh, pull. Push. Wrong. Lean. Walk. Throw. Tip toy. Hop. Squat. Excellent. Thank you, Adriana. Very good. Now you have more vocabulary. Excellent. Thank you. What, what is the mean dive? Means dive. dive. Ah, excellent. Bucear o sumergirse. Mm -hmm. Any of those. Okay. Bucear o sumergirse. In, in draw. 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 Imagine you have a bowl. Adriana, imagine that you have a bowl and you throw the bowl. Okay. What's the action? Tirar. Mm -hmm. O lanzar. O lanzar. Uh -huh. Exactly. There you have it. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. And what about lean? Do you know what lean is? Mm. This one, lean? Recargarse. Supo. No. Exactly. Yes. But it, because the, the, the draw. The draw. Uh -huh. Because of the old man doing this. <laughs> yes. yes. Excellent, Adriana. Very really good. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Laura. Tell me the verbs, please. Okay. Um, bend, lift, carry, kneel, hold, sit, punch, pick up, leap, jump, draw, dive, pull, push, run, lean, walk, throw, Tiptoe, hop, and squat. Excellent, very really good. Okay, Laura, do you have any question about any vocabulary word? Squat. It's my, it's my, huh? it's my gran incognita. Squat. Ah, <laughs> squat. Ay, Laura, nunca he hecho ejercicio. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so squat es lo que nosotros llamamos sentadillas. Ah, okay. Por eso le digo que si, que si nunca he hecho ejercicio porque hasta en español no lo dicen cuando uno va al gimnasio una vez al año. Es cierto, squat. In the aerobic class. Ah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, you gotta do some squats. And you're like, uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, thank okay. you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> you're welcome, Laura. Excellent. Let's go with Jocelyn. Let's see, Jocelyn, tell me the vocabulary, please. Okay. Uh, bend, lift, curry, kneel, hold, sit, punch, pick up, leap, jump, uh, drag. Guide, pull, push, run, lean, wall, throw, tip top, tip, tip top, tip tip top, tip top, tip top, squat. Excellent. Really good. Do you have any question, Jocelyn, about the vocabulary? Um, no, listen. Do you have Sorry. any question about the vocabulary? Uh, mi vocabulary. No, if you have a, a question about this one. Tiene preguntas? Ah, una. Eh, sí, por ejemplo. Uh, lip, lip. ¿Qué es? Lip. No, le, lip. L, E, ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. En, en español, no sé cómo lo decimos, pero es exactamente como está el dibujo, cuando usted salta, pero de manera abierta. Usualmente saltamos así, ¿no? We jump like this. Uh -huh. Creo que le dicen... Ay, se me ha olvidado. Pero es un salto especial que hace la mayoría de atletas. Lip. Como que usted está pasando un rillito and you leap to pass the river, right? You leap. You open your legs. Ok. Sí. 
Yeah, but it's a different one. Porque jump es un salto normal, ¿no? Like, uh -huh. like a bunny. But when you leap, it's es, strap, es, es strapling, creo que le dicen, o es strip. Leap es is like bailarinas. Sí, Ajá, como el que hacen las bailarinas, exactly, leap. Pero es strap, strapling, creo que, bueno, viene siendo casi en inglés lo mismo. Ok, pero sí, es la acción, siempre es el mismo jump, pero aquí no saltan con las piernas juntas, sino que van abiertas. It's a different action. Right? Now let's go with Veronica. Let's see, Veronica. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Bent, lift, carry, sneer, hold, sit, punch, pick out, lead, jump, drop, dive, pull, punch, run, lean, walk, jump, pick door, hop, squat. Excellent. There you have it. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, now you have extra verbs, you have extra vocabulary that you can use whenever you want, all right? Now, you won't be just like stay with one word and that's the only action that you can use. No, you have more, you have pick up, you have drag, leap, okay? So this is for you to open your vocabulary, to acquire more, all right? So I believe that it's a pretty good way so if you want, you can take some of them. If not, you can just leave it that way. But it will be pretty amazing because most of the time verbs are the hard thing that people believe that are hard to, to learn, right? They believe that it's like, ah, verbs, verbs are a lot of them. And now you're seeing that we can learn them by checking some actions, by checking some drawings. And there you have. All right, Eo, let's move on. Let's continue with using comparative adjectives, right? We were saying in here last class, we are talking about preferences, comparisons with adjectives. Now we were talking about the word prefer, I prefer. Now listen, in English, we also have another word to express preference. You may say, I rather, I rather, okay? That's just extra for you. If you want to take it, it's okay. If not, don't worry. That's like a synonym, right? I'd rather. But in this case, let's learn it with prefer. Let's see, Laura, which one do you prefer? Okay. And we read? I read it? Yes? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, which one do you prefer? I prefer the little one. All right, thank you. Jocelyn, continue with the second question, please. Okay. Which one do you like better more? Mm -hmm. I like the little one better more. Mm -hmm. Exactly. When you see the a slash in there, it's because you can use either better or more. Okay. Pueden utilizar okay. cualquiera de las dos. But okay. what I want you to notice, everyone in this class, is that this is a staple. You cannot change it. Okay. Which is easier because it's something that it's like already there. And as you cannot move it, it's going to be easier to memorize. All right, so let's move on. Adriana, please. That one is. That one is cheaper than the world one. Thank you. Continue, Liana. This one, this one is nicer than. Excellent, thank you. Continue, Jancy. Uh, 
the, the leather jack is pretty dang. Excellent. Thank you, Jancy. Hello there, Kevin. I see that you are in class. Help me with the following. Uh, yes. Uh, it looks big, bigger than. Excellent. Thank you. And the last one, Patricia. More stylish done. Very good. So, as you notice, we have some spelling words, for example, cheap, cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, and big, bigger. Now, as far as I remember, last class we were talking about myths, how to differentiate them, okay? Because not sometimes we're not always going to use the same, R, right? No siempre solo se le va a agregar el ER. Sometimes we're going to add something else, so we're going to use something more, right? Before going to that part, uh huh. Okay, Miss, I have a question. Uh huh. Uh -huh. In the in the last sentence, it's more stylish than. Mm -hmm. What is the 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 word of stylish? Estilizado o elegante. Yeah, but but uh, for example, big is bigger. Uh -huh. Pretty is prettier, so stylish. No, that's what we're going to learn today, Laura. ¿Por qué algunas uh -huh. se les agrega more y a otras no? Mm, Porque okay. en vez de ponerle stylish shirt, yeah, no it is the is the Le only you can use more. Okay, exactly. thank you. Very good. Yes, indeed, honey. Don't worry. Okay. Now, what I want you to keep in mind is that remember that you are in intermediate level. So what you're going to learn today, it might be useful, very useful for you, but remember that there is always more content than just what you see in here, right? With the time you will learn more and you will learn how to differentiate them. Because I know that in this case, using comparatives is pretty hard sometimes because it's like, I don't know if I should use more or just, at the ER, but let's see, notice, I will have, Veronica, please read the pink shard or the purple shard. Veronica. If not, I'm going to have Adriana, please. Notice, to express preference in English, you may say, I prefer slash I like. Exactly, thank you. So you can say, I prefer this or I like this better than or more than, right? So there you have it. Jocelyn, please read this information. When? Uh, when we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. Adjective uh, more, plus? er, plus, plus, mm. plus, er, plus, tan, thing. Very good. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Dan. Done, done, okay. Very good, thank you, Jocelyn. All right, Laura. So check this, Laura. The instructor says that you are going to add the R, but that's, that's true, but it's not going to be the same way for every case, right? This is for everyone. You will see following after these slides, you will see that sometimes things change them and this is like the basic structure that you can find out, right? Although there is more, but this is for you just to keep in mind. Let's go with comparison. So this is like the most common way to make comparisons, right? A small, a smaller than. You just add the ER. However, sometimes we are not only going to use ER, sometimes we're going to expand words. Let's go to the guiding examples. 
Patricia, please, example number one. Okay. Your backpack is smaller than mine. Thank you. Jansi, example number two, please. Uh, my cell phone is cheaper than your. There you have it. All right. So we are still using ER and we are just adding that. Right. These are common examples that we have. Let's move along. I'm going to wait because some of you are copying the examples. Finished with the examples? Finished. Yes, it's finished. Very good, very good. All right, let's see. Comparative adjectives. Please, Laura, tell me the information about comparative adjectives. Comparative adjectives. We use comparative adjectives to show change or make comparisons. This car is certainly better, but it's much more expensive. I'm, I'm feeling happier now. We need a bigger garden. All right, excellent. Now, if you notice in both, in that first sentence, we have two different kinds of comparative adjectives one using ER and the other one using more expensive. For this, because you are in intermediate level, I will say it that this way. I will put it this way. You just need to learn which comparatives or which adjectives you are going to use with more and which are the ones that you're going to use with ER, all right? It's like the verbs. Sometimes we need to memorize verbs because it's impossible to learn them all or to recognize them all. So you need to memorize them if you want to use them. The same is in here. You need to catch which, com which adjectives are you being able to use with more and which other adjectives you're not going to use with more, right? Copy this as an example on your notebooks. Miss, I have a, I have a question. Yes, yes. We, a ver, we, we don't have a clue or an, an specific uh, ruler maybe to recognize it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we have it. Yes, because only memorize it is, it's really hard, it's difficult. No, but it's, it's pretty, how can I tell you this? It's pretty much the basic way in which you can learn them. Because memorize remember it. that uh -huh, that's like the basic way in which you can learn them, right? But of course, as you mentioned, you need rules. So that's great. I'm going to show you some of them. Okay. Thank you. Tranquila, Laurita. Ya vamos a llegar. Miss. Yo me estreso, teacher, por esto. Es que bueno que no te pasa con to be. No. La Coca-Cola es. Estoy muy eléctrica por la Coca-Cola ahorita. <laughs> Ajá, let's see, Adriana, you had a question. Jamie, uh, yes, Miss. Uh, if you wanted to talk for the future, you mm -hmm. can use uh, the same verb with E, E, and R. 
these are not uh, verbs, Adrian. These are adjectives. Los adjetivos son los que describen cosas mm -hmm. o personas. So those are the ones that we are using in here, adjectives. Los verbs, los verbs sí los puede cambiar, pero para el futuro no se cambian, solo se les agrega el will. Entonces se pueden ocupar estos en cualquier tiempo y va a ser la misma forma, ¿eh? eso quería decir. Exactly. Sí. Yes, yes okay. indeed, my friend. Yes, you can use them sí. whenever you need. You can use them in past. Uh, for example, that car was certainly better, but it was much more expensive. Ya lo hice en pasado. And I use the uh -huh. same adjectives. All right, okay. Adriana, very good. Okay. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Let's go on to the next one. Let's see, Kevin, please help me. We use? We use that, we, that when we want to compare one thing with another. Mm -hmm. She's two years older than me. New York is, is much bigger than Boston. He is a better player than Ronaldo. France is bigger country than Britain. 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 When we want to describe how something or someone changed, we can use two comparatives with N. The balloon got bigger and bigger. Everything is getting more and more expensive. Grandfather is looking older and older. All right, thank you, Kevin. If you notice, my dear students, we have the same. That's why I was telling you about memorizing some of them. For example, when it, with expensive, if you notice, in both examples, in expensive, we are using more. In any of those examples, we are using expensier, right? Okay, so that's for you to know or to recognize. In this case, it's still a note that we use done because some of you may ask, Miss, but if I'm adding the ER to the adjective, why do I use that? It's a must, you need done when you are comparing two things, one with another one, right? Showing here is the same with and. The cool or the fun part of this is that when you're using and, it's because you're making things bigger, right? For example, bigger and bigger. You're not talking about this size. You're talking about something huge, right? Huge. So that's why you are adding and. Miss, in, in Spanish, grandfather is looking older and older. Viejo, older? De viejo. Más viejo y más viejo. Es como si le agregara uno más a eso. Básicamente el más, pues, la palabra más. Como nosotros que decimos, es más y más viejo cada vez. Is it raining when you're leaving, my dear students? All right. So I'm not the only one who's freaking out in here about the weather. Right. Let me know when you're finished with this so I can move on. Okay. 